one. Power up. This is a match we've been waiting for. The number one and two seeds. Both of them off to putting cubes into the scale of circuits versus Madtown. Looks like Madtown's got the early advantage in autonomous mode. Oh, but the circuits even it up. We are even on the scale. After both alliances own their switches. We've got the circuits. We've got Madtown in red, the circuits in blue. It's a battle for the scale. It's going back and forth. They're alliance partners trying to load up and own their switches and uh, fill up their vaults with power cubes. But in the middle of the field, we've got Madtown. We've got Citrus Circuits. They are battling it out. Slight advantage for the Red Alliance at this time. 87 to 85. It's an even match with a minute and a half left. 51-34, the Roa Wolves picking up a power cube, putting it into the exchange. The Blue Alliance has powered up their levitation. Looks like one of the Red Alliance robots is not in motion, but 1678, oh! 1678! The Citrus Circuits, they took a turn too quickly. The robot center of gravity pushed it over. It has fallen to its side. There is one minute left in the match. Red has the advantage. 180 points to 154 for blue. All three blue robots are on the move. Except for the circuits. The circuits are down. All three red robots are moving. And we're into the end game. It's still pretty close. The red alliance ro or blue alliance robots desperately trying to help out their alliance partner who is down for the count. 1323 though, the Madtown adding cube after cube to the scale. They own the scale. Now they're gonna climb. They're gonna offer their ramp for 52.74 to try to climb the Wolverines. Can they get up on that ramp? No, they're not able to. There's only two seconds left. And that ends the match with Red taking the victory. And here we go. Let's see what happens. The Red Alliance does take the victory. And they earn three ranking points. But Madtown remains in rank second.